Hello, I'm Dr. Joshua Tepper, President and CEO of Health Quality Ontario and a family physician. I'm so pleased today to be introducing the Primary Care Practice Reports. This is an incredibly exciting tool for you and your colleagues to use in your everyday practice. One of the nicest things about this tool is it's a great example of partnership. Health Quality Ontario working together with the Institute of Clinical Evaluative Sciences, the Association of Family Health Teams of Ontario, and the Ontario College of Family Physicians. All of us committed to improving the quality of care for people in Ontario every day. Data, in many ways, is the cornerstone of how we help improve care for our patients. We use the information from these types of practice reports to learn more about what we're doing and opportunities to improve preventative screening, chronic disease management, and other key aspects of primary care practice. In the next few minutes, you'll be hearing from a number of our colleagues, family doctor, physician champions, My name is Dr. Ben Stobel. I'm a family physician at the Athens District Family Health Team in Athens, Ontario. I was excited about the PC report coming out because I'd been thinking about this for a couple of years already. I was looking for data that would support some of our quality initiatives and uh, help us to look forward to where else we should be targeting and that's what I've been using it for so far. I would recommend that all my colleagues sign up to receive the PCP report because you can't make an improvement if you don't know where you're starting off initially. You have to have some initial data, you have to have a starting point or a jump off point to see where you're at. And I would say don't be afraid to see, to find out the data, to see where you're at because the report is totally confidential. So as long as it's confidential, it's really there to help all of us uh, make changes in our practice for the better of all our patients. It's kind of cool to have information about your own practice, to be able to look at it privately and just reflect on it and think about the ways that this kind of information is going to shape what we do in family medicine for the foreseeable future. I work with my staff to think about what's, what has come out of the PCP report that we can then use to change what we do in the office to make things better for the staff and the patients. I think a good example of that would be hypertension, which is a really common problem in family medicine. We deal with a lot. Um, to know that 23% of my patients have hypertension allows me to make an intervention, simple intervention, such as having an automatic, automated blood pressure machine in each room. So the staff have a system now where they can go in and um, accurately measure and record the blood pressure before I uh, come in to see the patient. My name is uh, Kathy Faltz. I'm a family practitioner. I work in a faux uh, payment plan, which is part of the London Family Health Team here in London, Ontario. We have 12 uh, family physicians and a group of allied health professionals uh, who help us deliver high quality primary care. PCP report is something that I've been waiting for as a clinician involved in quality improvement. Um, I can look after um, obtaining my practice roster data fairly easily, but how we impact the system, how we compare to the LIN, how we look provincially, what standards we're trying to uh, achieve, um, this information I can't obtain easily. And I did write to ISIS and I did ask HQO about it and you've responded. You've given me what I've asked for as a uh, physician, very involved and enthusiastic about quality improvement. I would strongly recommend that my colleagues sign up to receive this report. I think that it doesn't matter what model you're working in, whether you have a team that surrounds you um, that you have developed, whether you're in a faux organization or whether you're in a fee-for-service FIG organization, this information tells you what you're doing as a family physician and it tells you who you're looking after and how you're using the system. I would um, hope that when you get this report that you'll then spend some time learning about what the report means and how it can help you improve or continue to deliver the high quality of care that you deliver. 
Signing up for these reports could not be easier. All you need to do is go to the Health Quality Ontario website and simply sign up and express your interest.